Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We're out today, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees, sun is shining. Oh, it's a perfect day for some trash picking. And that's what we're doing, we got Lauren. And of course we got the man of the hour, <laughs> Lucas. And of course, you guys know, I'm Joey. We're together make scrap and wine. We're gonna go find some cool stuff in the trash, take you guys along with us. Um, also, while we're out, I'm going to be picking up an insane, insane video game uh, haul. I'll show you guys that. And towards the end of the video, I wanna show you guys how me and Lauren have started making some extra cash. It's a really, really good way to make some extra money. Um, so, I don't know, let's get into the video. So it's going kind of slow, but don't worry, the video's still gonna have a lot of cool stuff in it, a lot of fun stuff. I just wanna tell you guys, if you're, if you're new to the channel, if this is the first time you're watching, some of the things that we're looking for, um, we're looking for some things that we can resell, like at a flea market, a yard sale, or even on like fake Facebook Marketplace. Every once in a while we find stuff that's small that we can even uh, sell like on eBay. We found tablets and um, some video game stuff and watches and other kinds of jewelry and things. Some small stuff. Um, also, we're hunting some scrap metal. Small, heavy things. Uh, some brass, some heavy iron, some aluminum, stainless steel, stuff like that. Nothing that's going to be like big. And bulky and lightweight nothing like that um, and also looking for things that we could possibly donate we come across a lot of clothing so that's another thing that we always keep an eye out we uh, we'll get the clothing if it's clean we'll kind of go through it see if there's anything that we can wear or a family member can wear or something like that and then the rest of it usually goes to um, a church in our neighboring town or um, battered women's shelter kiosks that are also in the neighboring town so that's just kind of what we what we're looking for while we're out here so so far we haven't really came across much but we're only one neighborhood in okay guys we got a pretty nice looking baby stroller we can grab it if we can't use it we'll try to sell it or donate it in all honesty we don't normally pick up strollers or baby stuff um, unless it's like super clean and um, like in, in good shape. Mainly because baby stuff, we, we can we cannot get rid of it. We can't sell it. We can hardly, we can barely give it away. But when it's something like that, I'll show you guys later. Um, it, it's, it's like in immaculate condition. So it doesn't look like it's got any stains on it just from what I was able to see. The tires are not bald. A lot of times the strollers that have the tires are just completely bald. Um, which that's honestly not a big deal, but it's just around here. That's people, people are pretty picky about that kind of stuff. So we'll, we'll do this, uh, do it a once over. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And if we can't get rid of it, we can't give it away. We can't sell it or whatever. It's, it's mostly metal, so it can at least be scrapped. So, okay. A couple dumpsters here. I saw this really nice looking bookcase not wobbly or anything we're gonna take it oh boy it's in bad shape it can probably be repaired but uh, I'm not gonna deal with it it's like a cheaper one I guess but it's it's really really wobbly would have been nice to like stash some of the video games and stuff in we'll take this big lamp stroller see the wheels are in pretty good shape looks real clean all over what um, what was in the mystery box mystery box had some vhs tapes we'll have to go through it only thing is the bottom of it was kind of wet so the ones in the bottom might be ruined there's a little bag of some stuffed animals we'll go ahead and grab those we won't grab the plunger that's just garbage but there's some stuffed animals we'll go through here's those beauty chests some of these could be worth something but we'll have to look into them check that out 
these bowls and you just set them in there. Might be a couple bucks. Lauren sees a couple of boxes over there she's gonna go take a quick look at. Let's see and she struck out. Daddy. What was it? Huh? Nothing. Nothing in there? No. We stopped over here at a uh, gas station Lauren wanted to get something to drink and Lucas had to potty figured I'd show you guys some more of these VHS's Peter Pan we'll look look up a couple of these bear in the big blue house I used to watch that when I was younger so there's a couple of these Fuji films, these are just blank cassettes. People would record stuff over. But yeah, just a box of uh, VHSs. Looks like they had them in the yard sale. So, if there was anything good in here, they've probably already been picked over. But we'll, we'll look through them. What I'll do is I'll check it all out, and if I see anything that's uh, worth anything at all, I'll let you guys know. So just really quickly, I went through about half of the box, I guess. Um, I found two of the movies that were selling for around $12 to $13, but there was no completed listings. And then there was one that sold, was selling for $20, but with no completed listing. And that's the thing is, honestly, an item is only worth what somebody will pay for it. You know what I mean? So you could put something on, I could grab one of those movies and if it's if none of them has sold and I post it up for a hundred dollars and somebody buys it for that people could say well that's worth a hundred bucks you know but not a very not a very good box of movies so far you're back did you got some water empty cup what'd you get is that a kool-aid yeah you always get kool-aid Passed by this little like bunny hut, little rabbit hutch. But it, I got out and looked at it. It's, it's pretty much destroyed. It's a bunny. It's a chicken house. Chicken? It's a chicken. Well, it's a house for some kind of animal, but it's in really, really bad shape. <clears throat> like I mean, it's wood, so you can repair it, but like yeah. it's cracked and stuff. It's just. Hell, by zip ties it. Looks yeah. Nice. So passed on that. <clears throat> All right. So this is the next morning. Um, I'm going to show you guys a few of the things, especially the uh, stroller. We'll take that out and look at it. This is that uh, bag that had those stuffed animals in it. We opened it up last night. Unfortunately, um, a lot of them were wet, like dripping wet. There's some cool ones in here. Nothing that I don't think is worth much, like this guy. He's cool. He's a Dallas Cowboys bear. Not sure what brand or anything. Okay, there it is. Bill Build a Bear. So he's a Dallas Cowboys Build a Bear, but he's soaking wet. They can be washed, just throw it in the washing machine. A bunch of sloths. I think that's what those guys are. Oh, there's the helmet. So last night when I was looking at that, I, uh, I was wondering what that helmet was for, but that's for the Build-A-Bear. Might have been one more in the bag. Yeah, this little pink teddy bear guy. Um, this here, you just need some of the uh, the bowls that go in that, but that's a pretty cool uh, thing to have for uh, your dogs. Um, picked up this off camera, the um, weed eater. It wasn't in the box, but I mean, it looks like it's hasn't been used much. Um, as I was picking it up, of course, it was off camera. As I was picking it up, the lady ran outside, and at first I thought she was telling me not to pick it up, but she said, "Okay, okay, I just wanted to make sure you had the box because it has the string and the instructions and everything in all the paperwork." So pretty cool. Not a very expensive one or anything, like maybe like a thirty dollar 
brand new so flea market i mean uh, maybe five bucks or so but still something something also have not tried the lamp yet let me get this uh stroller out and then show you that and then we'll take the lamp in and try that out it took me a minute to figure out how to get it open there it is got a cup holder for mama or daddy came um, equipped with some wet ones a little con compartment for your phone or whatever it's actually a little double double stroller it's a little bit tiny bit dirty but otherwise this thing is in like really really good shape it needs to be wiped down but yeah could be worth a little bit I mean selling it I wouldn't expect to get a lot on these I wonder so I know like when you find uh, car seats and stuff uh, car seats they'll have like an expiration date or a lot of people won't mess with them because they're used I don't know how do you guys feel about used strollers there's that all right so unfortunately the lamp doesn't work but it may just need a light bulb so we'll hold on that hold on to that for the time being but all right so here's the video games first off i'll kind of show you what there is in the box and then i'll go over kind of a value of most of the stuff and then i'll tell you how we acquired this stuff so let's jump right into it first off we got a couple of these uh game shark and game genie type things um ps2 uh original xbox not sure about that one to be perfectly honest um rumble pack and a memory card for n64 here's a ps1 memory card and then another rumble pack and then the power cords for playstation and then there's a bunch of first party controllers there's two of these playstation one controllers um there's two first party uh, PlayStation 2 controllers, a first party PlayStation 3 controller, and then two PlayStation 2 consoles. They both work. Um, all of that, if just a very rough guesstimate, I would say this stuff's worth about 200, 250 bucks. Um, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. I haven't look, really looked any of these up. I have sold PS2s in the past. Um, if I sell just the console and one controller, I usually get about 60 bucks for a PS2. Um, they're, if you go to a game store, you're going to pay a little more. Um, especially if you're looking on a marketplace, you're going to pay quite a bit more. I just I sell mine for about 60 It's competitive for some of the game stores around here. And I usually get this stuff for so cheap that I'm okay with not selling it for as much. So, let's say just conservatively a couple hundred bucks. And then here is where the the meat of all the values at. <clears throat> Got one Xbox One game, one Xbox 360 game, and then several PS2 and PS1 games. Um, this little list right, or this little pile right here, they're all not very common games, but they're not a ton of value, ranging anywhere from like five to forty dollars. And forty dollars for a PS2 game is still pretty good but there's a couple other games in here that are just worth way more and I'll just hold that so if you guys want to pause and read the list of the games so I'll come over here first here's a couple of these so this game right here Silent Hill 2 for the PlayStation for some reason the Silent Hill games for the PlayStation consoles are they're just they're they're crazy crazy expensive here's another one here 
So this one, Silent Hill 4 and Silent Hill 2, both of the ones for PlayStation. Here's another Game, uh, game Shark. This one's still in the box. Um, here's the other Xbox 360 game. Filler titles more than anything. And Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy. I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, here's the other Silent Hill. Very, very, very valuable game. I mean, I'm talking this one probably anywhere from like 190 to 250 dollars just for this one game. These are also about 100 to 120, 100. 10 to 150 and then some of these games here um, these average around the $50 mark one of these is around the $100 range that one's about a $100 game this one's I believe this one was also close to around the $100 game so this entire box conservative value I'd say is about a grand almost just for these games about a thousand bucks worth of games <clears throat> so this game here this was included in the lot um, let you guys look it up look it up on eBay um, you can see you can type it in Valkyrie profile ps1 so some of the comps I'm gonna I'll put a couple of them up on the on the screen here <laughs> Some of the, the comps you see, they're just, they're crazy prices. So when we saw this game, I'm not sure if my buddy looked it up or he just knew kind of the, that it was worth something. You see the comps and those are crazy, crazy prices. However, the unfortunate thing about it is that is the American version. This one is unfortunately the Japanese version. So it goes anywhere from about a $600 game to about a $20 game <laughs> but that's okay so very very good score awesome I mean this is for what I have into this and I'll tell I'll talk a little bit about that in a second this is the best score that I've ever had so I have this friend um, he's been one of my best friends since like high school and he knows that uh, I like collecting video games so it's been a while um, a couple months maybe he called me and he said that he had some video games for me and there was a bunch of good stuff in there a couple of systems uh, like an Xbox 360 or two a couple PlayStations stuff that I was able to keep and then stuff that I was able to flip and at the time I had a big box of records um, I think some of you guys might remember I got those at a yard sale it was like some Beatles albums some Fleetwood Mac some really good stuff and uh, he told me he had those games. Well, I said, yeah, man, I'll, 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 I'll buy them from you. He said, no, no, I, it's a gift. I'll bring them to you. So he brought them to me. And he wouldn't let me pay, pay him anything, but he, like him and his wife, collect records. So I gave him those records. Unfortunately, this time, I didn't have any records to give him. And, of course, he's not going to take cash. He's not going to take no money from them. He told me that they were... Uh, better off in my hands than his because he's got a couple of uh kids one of them's almost a teenager i think he's 12 and he's just not into the older stuff like i am so he got all this stuff from a yard sale from one guy the guy sold this stuff to him and he called me up and he, he said hey i got you some more video games he sent me some pictures and of course i was super excited so this guy gave me all this stuff for free. It's just, it's awesome, man. It's, it's, that guy, he's one of a kind type of guy. Definitely a good dude. Not just because he gave me video games, but I mean, we've been best friends since high school. But very cool that he, you know, he thought about me like that and, and gave me all this stuff, you know. I mean, there's probably, I don't know, $1,200 worth of value here. Just a rough, rough guesstimate. I'm not going to go through and like price everything. And I'm going to keep most of everything. You know, I'm going to edit most of this all to my collection. There's a couple of the PS2 games in here that I already have. Um, maybe four or five of them. Um, I don't have any of these 
uh, high dollar games except for these uh, Silent Hill games, these two. I already have those, but I don't have cases for either one of these, and these are both complete and just in immaculate condition. The guy that owned all these took very, very good care of them. So what I'll probably do is sell off my copies of these two games and keep these and then bundle them with the system because I already have a couple PlayStations. So that's most likely what I'll do. And again, I'll try to offer him some some of the cash. If not, maybe I can go find out, go uh, use the money that I make off of it, find some records, and and take them to him. He'll take some records. So pretty cool, awesome dude. Um, I'll have to introduce you guys to him one time on the channel. All right. So like I mentioned earlier, um, Lauren and I we have a wedding coming up uh, October 16th, I believe is the date. A lot of you guys ask uh, every once in a while. I try to answer. The questions um it's another thing i don't always get to all the comments especially here lately things have just been kind of crazy for us so if there's ever something that you want to talk to us about or something that you want to make sure that we see send it to our facebook because there's a good chance that lauren and i at least one of us will see it because we both have access to that account and we both have access to the youtube account as well but it's just weird how the notifications come in and we just, I don't, I don't always, always see all the comments unless I go in and I make it, a, make it a point to sit and do all the comments, which I do on occasion, just not always. So like I said, if there's something that you really want us to know, really want to talk to us about or anything like that, um, send us a message on Facebook or an email and one of us will see it for sure. Um, but like I said earlier, um, we found a new way to make some cash um, some pretty decent cash and this is something that you know anybody could do uh, that has a car you had to have a car license and everything but with Lauren's new car um, this particular avenue for making money is pretty good idea it's 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 it, it, it works out perfectly so I'll take you guys in to that right now and uh, show you all how we made a little extra cash just drove through a little a little flood so it's been raining today quite a bit um, we're out trying something different um, so Lauren got her new car here's the inside of it as you guys can see um, we're doing a thing called DoorDash um, Lauren's off Lucas is at school. I didn't have anything to do. So we figured we'd try the DoorDash thing to see how it is, uh, maybe make it a little bit extra cash. So far we've done three deliveries and have made $23 and it has taken us about 40 minutes. So of course you gotta factor in how much gas you use, but this little car is really good on gas. So hopefully it's not gonna be too much. We're gonna do it for four hours. So uh, we'll let you know at the end how much we make. So far, the DoorDash thing is really cool. Um, Lauren's making a delivery right now. She's got these uh, thermal insulated bags um, of her own that we use when we go um, grocery shopping. But eventually, after a couple deliveries or a couple of days or whatever, DoorDash apparently is supposed to send you some um, of their own, plus a mask and different things. Um, one thing that I would recommend is if you want to do the DoorDash thing and I'll explain a little bit more about it a little later like how it all works I would uh, do it like with a buddy um, maybe travel with a, a friend there it so far it's taken us twice to uh, kind of a sketch sketchy areas way out in the country on one and then one was kind of in a little bit of a rough neighborhood in some apartment buildings so just a a suggestion do it with a do it with a buddy but so far it's pretty cool you know if you don't have anything to do and you want a little bit of extra cash and you have a vehicle it's uh it's not too bad so on to the next one yep actually one bad thing about the DoorDash is all the food is in the car so it smells really good in here and now I'm really hungry so let's go get something to eat yep 
right, so we're still at it. Um, I'm just gonna give you a little update. We've been at it for about three and a half, no, about three hours, because we started at around 10.30. Um, and it's 1.30 now, so we're at about three hours. But 30 minutes of that, we was talking to uh, my cell phone company about getting a new cell phone plan. So 30 minutes there, and then we stopped in eight, so another 30 minutes. So really, we've only been at it total about two hours on the DoorDash thing, and we're at 50 bucks. We still have about 30 more minutes on our little route that we uh, scheduled. So what, about $25 an hour, I guess? Yeah, roughly. Roughly about $25 an hour. So by the time we get done, I think we'll have time to do maybe three to five more stops. And it seems like they're averaging around five to eight dollars a piece so I mean, we have potential to make another 20 to 25 bucks so we're gonna go hit these last few and then as soon as we get done we'll go over everything and kind of talk to you about the about the process so the DoorDash thing is super easy so once you're set up on the app and you're ready to uh, get alerts as you drive around we just passed by this Dairy Queen and I bet you got some notifications for it as you drive in the vicinity of a certain establishment that offers DoorDash and there has been an order submitted to that place for the DoorDash if you're around it you'll get the notification that you are eligible to go pick it up we just got one that we're headed to right now to an IHOP that's maybe a quarter mile or less 1500 feet or so so that's where we're headed right now but if somebody had ordered something from the Dairy Queen and you passed by it and it was it was ready to be picked up, then you would get a notification. And you could accept it or decline it. Um, we've already ran into a handful of other people doing this as well. This is just a super easy way to earn some extra cash. Um, I mean, all you need is a running car and a cell phone. That's literally it. You don't have to, um, you have to have a license and stuff like that, but you know what I mean. It's, uh, it's really easy. Um, day off, nothing to do. It's a gloomy day outside. Um, we slept in a little bit, started the day at around 10.30, and we gotta go pick up Lucas in, here in just a few minutes. But just from we 10.30 to two o'clock, and we did other stuff in between and still gonna earn around $70. So really awesome way to earn some money. So once you get to the place, IHOP's gonna be right up here on the right. You just walk into the establishment, tell them that you're here to pick up the order for DoorDash and you have to give them the name of the person. Once you pick it up, you uh, enter it in the phone that you picked the order up and you're ready to take it to the uh, person who ordered it. Um, it puts it in the GPS on your phone um, we've been putting it in my tablet as well because it's the tablet speaks to me and tells me step by step which way to turn and everything. Um, you get there and some people have specific directions on um, how they want it delivered. Like some people want you to take it to the side door. Um, some people want you to call them when you get there. Some people want it to go upstairs. Just different things. And that's what we've ran into so far. Um, you do that. Once you finish, once you give it to the person, um, you enter it in that um, it's delivered and DoorDash completes the order and that's it. Okay, so that particular day that you guys just saw, that was the first time that we had ever did it. We clocked in two hours and 38 minutes and made, I think it was 50, I don't know if I said it in, in the video. It was like 55, 56 dollars, which is pretty good, especially for our very first time. That's right around 20 bucks an hour. So a couple of days after that, we went out again to try it again. And we, I, I think we had just over four hours. It was maybe four hours and 20 minutes. So there's an app that you can check all your stats and everything. Your, um, like you can track everything. So we did that for a little over four hours and made 105 bucks. So it's averaging right around 20 to 25 bucks an hour. Um, it's not hard work. I mean, it is a little tough on your car. 
and I say $105 uh, for the one day and then 55 so call it like 160 for the two days and that's for about seven hours of work um, it's a little bit rough on your car luckily this car gets really good gas mileage so I think all in we've got maybe at the very very most maybe 20 bucks in gas that we've used I would say closer to 10 because this car gets such good gas mileage but let's say 20 bucks so you do use a lot of gas unless you have a super great gas saver and I mean you do put miles and a little bit of wear and tear in your car but I don't know I think that it's a job that somebody could do especially if somebody like out of high school um, that wants to make some quick money some easy money they pay you every single week this is a great idea great thing to try um, I don't know if every area offers it um, we have DoorDash Uber Eats there's one other one some places have something called Lyft um, there's just different ones that you can try you want to make some extra cash and you do have a car even if you don't have a small gas saver car if you got a truck I mean it's it's worth it to at least try it try it one time it's pretty simple go into the app fill out everything uh, that, it, that it asks for uh, and then they'll start sending you jobs but anyway that's gonna do it for us guys uh, thanks so much for hanging out uh, thanks for being patient with us as we try to create content one of my previous videos I had mentioned something about doing starting to do like vlog style video vlog style videos um, after that video came out I got pretty sick not COVID or anything but I mean it I don't know I, I don't know anybody that's had it or anything like that but it was like almost like flu like symptoms you know I was I was just down I was out for about a week but recovered just fine um, nobody else really got sick it was just just me pretty sure it was allergies <laughs> the allergies are just terrible right now but <clears throat> I'm working on it I'm working on getting content for you guys on a regular basis so thanks again for being patient please continue to be patient we'll figure this all out but until next time see you guys later